We now take a look at news around the East African region. From Kenya, Kenyans will mark Idi Aduha next week, Monday. This was declared today by the country's Interior Cabinet Secretary, Fred Matiangi. This will not be the case for Muslims in Uganda who will have to work Monday but celebrate the Holy Day on Sunday. Idi Aduha is one of the holiest days in the Muslim calendar. Idi Aduha, also dubbed the festival of the sacrifice, the celebration symbolizing the willingness of the prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his son Ishmael. From South Sudan, Petroleum Minister Awao Daniel Chiwang has said the oil production in the country has been enhanced by 6,000 barrels, bringing the total oil output to over 180 barrels per day. The increase, he said, was realized after the country resumed oil production at Block 1 and 2 in Manga Oil Field, which was closed six years ago due to insecurity in the northern parts of the country. Now for news around the world from the Democratic Republic of Congo, three Congolese medics have been detained over the murder of a World Health Organization doctor who was fighting an Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo, according to a military prosecutor on Wednesday. Cameroonian doctor Richard Valerie Mozoko Kibong was shot dead on April 19th in an attack on a hospital in the eastern city of Butembo. The arrested doctors will be prosecuted for terrorism and criminal conspiracy. Lieutenant Kano Jean Baptist Kumbongoma, military prosecutor for Butembo in North Chivu province, told AFP. The news from Sierra Leone, seven people have died and more than 8,000 have been made homeless after torrential rain in Sierra Leone caused massive flooding. The director of the Disaster Management Office in the National Security Office said the majority of the flood victims are from slum communities and swampy areas. The authorities have urged people to leave flood-prone areas in Freetown after reports of a minor mudslide in an area where more than 1,000 1,100 people died in a landslip in 2017. From the Gambia, two Gambian soldiers accused of plotting to overthrow the government of President Adama Barrow was sentenced to three years in jail by a court martial. The pair used a WhatsApp group called The True Friends to discuss ways of staging a coup with other members of the Gambian army while on a 2017 peacekeeping mission in Dalfu in Sudan, the military court at Yum Dam Barracks had during proceedings. Barrow took office in January. January 2017 after a shock election win against former President Yaya Jameh, who ruled the West African state for 22 years. Now, from India, India hit back today at nuclear rival Pakistan's downgrading of diplomatic ties over its clampdown on Kashmir, saying its decision to strip the restive region of its autonomy was an internal affair. India stripped Kashmir of its special status in the constitution Monday and brought the region under its direct rule, angering Pakistan, which has a competing claim to the Muslim-majority state. Hum Inshallah, Qom, Pakistani Qom, Aqwame Muttahidda, or Security Council, Bejaneka, Hamne Fesla Kiahe. Pakistan responded by downgrading its diplomatic ties with India, announcing that it would expel the Indian envoy and suspend trade as the row between the neighbors deepened. Let's take a break and return with news in business.